Oh, so it is. It's almost eleven o'clock, and I have this little rush through real fast. But anyways, uh, I think it's Super Bowl today. I'm not really sure. I don't really pay attention to that shit. But um, all I'm missing right now to complete this vibe I have going here is some fucking vodka and uh, cigarettes. But <laughs> I don't drink and um, I don't smoke. It, it just looks like I would. What's up, guys? So the kids are sleeping. So, you know, that's going to be a blessing for all y'all because then I can just kind of talk on a more quiet low hey what's up dang i got some fans up in here <laughs> what's up i see y'all i see y'all fans of lucifer hey everybody so let me put this fuck it i'll just hold it so anyways i wore this shirt so i can like take my clothes off much easier <laughs> it's like bitch if you broke don't fucking talk to me ho if you broke leave my chat room as a matter of in fact, let me put on super chat. If y'all want to fucking say hi to me, you better fucking donate some money, bitch. Hold on. Super chat. Where's the fucking super chat? <laughs> Anyways, I'll figure this shit out later. Top chat, live chat. Okay. Top chat. Whatever. Spam me, no videos. Okay. Y'all, y'all can talk. But anyways, so today's tonight damn y'all y'all are here it's popping up in my chat room i see in my channel so um yeah y'all y'all keep telling me to make like a paypal and i i don't know if i still have super chat i don't know what the fuck's going on but i don't have paypal but if y'all bitches want to send me a fucking money if you broke don't fucking talk to me get out of my chat room i don't want no broke bitches up in here okay but if y'all want to send me money you go to tila and win no yeah tila and win bella on venmo i have venmo but i don't have paypal i have none of that stuff but I, i'll set all the other stuff up next time but um yeah i just have a venmo i think that's part of uh paypal but anyways enough about that all i'm saying is if you a broke ass nigga don't fucking talk to me like don't try to holler at me don't ask me for my motherfucking number don't fucking like listen bro i would be lying because you know i can't lie right <laughs> it doesn't matter if i'm lucifer lucifer doesn't lie like even that tv show you know lucifer he can't lie like it's actually a she but on in this world because it's like inverted it's like a mirror so it's like backwards so they put it as a he, but it's really she. You know, like, like the Lucifer on the TV show, he was helping out, what, the police. He was working with the police to take down the bad guys and everything. Uh, but, you know, same with me. It's like, uh, I'm like the, uh, what's his name? On Minions, that guy, he used to be like a bad guy, like a villain. But then he had those daughters, and then he turned, you know, he used his powers to take down evil. What's his name, Gru? I'm Gru. <laughs> I'm Gru, nigga. Y'all the minions. I'm Gru. Hello, minions. So, anyway, if you a broke-ass minion, don't fucking talk to me, nigga. <laughs> you a fuck, nigga. Like, don't fucking bother me with your shit. Like, listen. Time is money. Only dumb bitches give their love away for free. Like, I used to be a dumb-ass bitch, you know? Like, I used to be dumb, too. Don't worry, ladies. I used to be dumb just like you. But Father God bossed me up, made me super hella smart, you know, and... I woke up one day because, you know, I was like fucking stupid. I was like sleeping the whole time. So I was like just giving away my love free, you know. And then one day I woke up like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Who gives this shit away for free, nigga? I even made Jesus pay. Like, I was like, you, you want this? <laughs> you know it's going to cost your life, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't give a fuck who you are. I literally said that to him. I said, you're Jesus. I don't give a fuck who you are, baby boy. Like, I do not give a fuck who you are. I don't care if you're Jesus. I don't care who you are. Don't come trying to talk to me, name drop, you know, because I have all kinds of niggas be name dropping themselves and be like, I'm this, I'm that. Like, I don't give a fuck what you are or who you are. Don't try to name drop to me. Like, how much are you willing to pay and uh, how far are you willing to go for this? So Jesus was like, I know, baby girl, I know you don't care who I am. I know. <laughs> I heard a lot about you. There's a, all kinds of drama going on about you in heaven right now. Uh, Father God's having his phone like blown off the hook because of you. You're Lucy, right? <laughs> That's right. What do you want? 
Time is money, nigga. Come on. Like, how, how long you got to keep me here? Like, hurry up. Clock's ticking. Time is money, bitch. <laughs> he's like, okay, okay I, I won't waste your time, ma'am. Because, uh, you know, he's all, like, sweet and, and gentleman and everything. And I was like, well, how much you going to pay for me, nigga? And he's like, <laughs> I was like, you know, uh, it's going to cost your whole fucking life, right? You, you willing to pay that? You willing to lay down your life for me? Like, uh, is uh, is that how much you want me? And he, he went and died. <laughs> he fucking... Fuck you. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> He's a fucking... <laughs> he just wants to win. He always got to fucking win, man. This nigga. He's always trying to fucking win. He's always trying to one-up my ass. Like, he's like, yeah, oh, yeah, baby girl. Like, I I'll die for you. Watch this. <laughs> he fucking does it. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. That actually fucking hurt. That actually hurt a little bit. Because now this nigga dead, right? And I'm like... <laughs> This fucking, you know, was the love of my life. That nigga died. He's like, oh, I got you now. I'm like, fuck you. He always says that to me. He always says this, gotcha. And then the last time he said that to me recently, and I, ca I caught it. And I was like, no, not yet, but maybe later one day. <laughs> Psych, bitch. Go die. And then he died. Oh, God. We be playing these games a lot because, you know, he can't really die, nigga. Like, I don't die either. Look, I talked about, like, all those people that died yesterday, you know. And uh, I'm not dead because, you know, I'm a goddess. And him being, you know, God in the flesh also, he doesn't die either. So we'd play these crazy games together. But anyways, I just want to come back on here um, to let y'all broke-ass poor niggers <laughs> know. If you're poor and you're broke, like, don't fucking talk to me, bro. Like, don't even come on to my chat room. Like, bro, you're just embarrassing yourself. Like, I'm a girl, so it's fine, you know? Like, <laughs> I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. But my love is not free, nigga. If you come in here looking for love, like, if you broke, you ain't... <laughs> Bye. You have no chance right now, nigga. I'm telling you right now, you know, and so uh, Jesus paid with his life and he still like doesn't have me fully. <laughs> he has me sometimes. And that's why he wrote that new song. I don't know if y'all heard it, but he wrote this new song about me. And um, that, that song is like, how, how, how does it go? He said it's something like, what is a guy like me uh, take? What is it going to take for, for a girl like you to get cuff like cuff a guy like me or something like that? I don't know. Some corny shit, bro. Uh, from Jonas Brothers, I think. Is it Jonas Brothers? I don't fucking know, bro. But uh, he just keeps playing this song, trying to sing to me like, w oh, yeah, what a man's got to do. What? Because he just started singing in my head. Uh, to, to, to be totally locked up by you. <laughs> what a man's got to do. And I'm like, bitch, you already told your ass what to do, nigga. You, you died? Well, you're still alive. Apparently, you ain't dead yet. He's like, why you gotta do me dirty like that? I loved you. I love. I still love you, girl. You, you driving me crazy. I'm like, fuck you. My love ain't free, nigga. <laughs> My love ain't free, nigga. What a man's gotta do. What a man's gotta do to be totally locked up by you. <laughs> That's Jesus singing to me. He's crazy ass prostitute whore ass wife. <laughs> Bitch, I ain't dumb, ho. I'm not just gonna fucking sit here. Ooh, hey, you know, you want my love? You want my treasure, nigga? Father God put heaven in my, in between my titties, right here, right in my heart. That's where heaven is. See, he knows that. See, he's trying to unlock that. But I'm like, this shit ain't free, bro. Like, don't waste my motherfucking time. Like, can I take you? I'm taking me out for what, nigga? I'm busy. Turned up for what? Do, 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 do. Just suck my fucking dick and shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Sh shut the fuck up. Like, rub my toes or something. Like, you know, my last husband, he did all that. Like, he, he just, like, did whatever I needed him to do. Like, I just call him when I need him. I just straight up used him, like, you know, till his, uh, till his usefulness ran out of juice, you know. And I'm like, damn, this nigga dead. But at least I got to fuck him on the last night before he died. And then he died, like, a day after that. But now I'm like, <clears throat> so I started tormenting my other friend. Like, there's, like, really not many left. <laughs> I fucked him and then tossed him out of the trash. So I went to my other friend because he knows how I am, too. And I'm like, yo, bro. And he's like, I love you, baby. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck you. Uh, so anyway, he's like, what do you want me to do? You want me to come marry you? I'll fly there tomorrow, Mary. I'll marry you. I'm like, shut the fuck up, nigga. I, you, you crazy. It, like, you know. 
He's like, yeah, you want me to come? I'll come tomorrow. Like, when, when do you want me to come? I'm like, bitch, fuck you. How much money you bring with you, first of all? <laughs> and then later, like, he'd be playing games with me. But I text her back later. I'm like, first of all, you know I'm just texting you because my late husband just passed away. And I have no one else to talk to and, and bother. So I'm just texting your ass because I'm fucking bored. Because if I was with him right now, I wouldn't be texting you. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> but see, these niggas, they, they keep calling me back all the time. They're just fucking hooked, nigga. I don't know what the fuck. I be trying to push them away, like slap them, like abuse them, you know. They're just fucking hooked. I don't know what the fuck to do. I don't know, man. They just hooked on my pussy. <laughs> but this shit ain't for free. It ain't for free. It's just not for free. Like, only dumb, dumb ass bitches. Like, dumb bitches, they be giving their love for free. Hey, boo. Hey, oh, I love you. Like, bitch, why do you love this man? Like, what does he do for you? Like, does he, did he buy you a house, a car? Like, does he fucking suck your toes? Like, does he give you a massage? Like, all my niggas, they give me back rubs. They, they do all kinds of shit for me all the time. Like, I don't fuck with you unless you do something for me. Like, fuck you. Fuck your couch. You a useless motherfucker. Like, you're a useless piece of shit. If you ain't doing nothing for me, you're fucking useless. Delete my number right now. Block me, bitch. I don't even fucking remember who you are. Uh, you're just useless to me. I, I mean, even Jesus died for me. What are you going to do for me? <laughs> These niggas keep climbing up this tree. They ain't never gonna get here. That's why I'm all alone. I'm like, oh, so ronery, so ronery. I'm Kim Jong Un, nigga. <laughs> so, yeah, these niggas trying to climb up this tree. They get here and they fucking die. And I, they get here and they they meet the bottom of my fucking high heels. You know, just stop them on their face. Like, get the fuck back down there, nigga. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Who the fuck do you think, what is this, some fucking hotline number? You could just call me and then just talk to me. Like, I don't want to fucking talk to you. I have nothing to say to you. Don't waste my time. Like, time is very valuable. Like, you waste my time. I, that's something I can never get back. I can never get back the time I wasted on your ass. <laughs> your broke ass. <laughs> oh, speaking of broke ass niggas, uh, the reason why I have, like, one ex online still like run his mouth about me like that nigga fucking loves me obviously nigga still in love with me what's his face you know always going on because if he didn't like that's the only way he could get my attention because otherwise he's like long forgotten in the background so he, he's scared of being forgotten because he's in love with me obviously i don't know how those dumb bitches can't see that you know the ones that are like you know working with him trying to take me down like bitch don't you know he's in love with me are you got you guys are just hella blind like this nigga's straight up in love with me duh like anyone can see that except for those dumb bitches <laughs> you bitches be giving your fucking shit away for free nigga that's your problem <laughs> what a man's gotta do look, look god is sitting in my oh hey girl <laughs> hey queen to be totally locked up by you, nothing. I don't want to lock you up. I don't want to lock nobody fucking up. Just leave me the fuck alone. Give me all your fucking money. Give me your fucking life. I want to see you die for me. And then you may fucking leave. I, I might give you a kiss, but it's like the kiss of death. It it's very powerful. I'm not going to lie. They're not going to lie either. My kisses are like fucking profound again. It's like like a, a blowjob times like 5 billion. Like I don't like by the time I go down to give you a blowjob, you're already dead, nigga. Like I I've done that before. I'm like I'm making out with a nigga and like <laughs> this nigga is like fucking dead. I'm like, "Oh, I didn't suck this nigga's soul out of his body. Look at his corpse." So I don't ever have to suck nobody's dick. First of all, I don't suck no dick because by the time I reach that, that area, they're already dead, nigga. <laughs> so I just take their wallet, like, whatever they have, the fucking rings, like, this piece of shit. You fucking get the fuck out of here with your fucking ins insurance selling ass car salesman bitch ass nigga. Like, fuck you, broke ass nigga. <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> no, real, real shit, though. 
uh this is just me unfiltered you know like this this is who i really am like who who am i really this is who i really am nigga fuck all that trying to pretend be nice shit like no bitch if you're a poor broke fucking nigger i don't want to be your fucking friends don't fucking holler at me you ain't got shit for me bitch just go die like do, do the whole world a favor and just die like nobody fucking cares if you die like i definitely wouldn't care if you die <laughs> I definitely wouldn't care. Like, I am the last person to care. If you died, I'd be like, <laughs> that nigga dead too? Oh, snap. I knew that nigga was going to die. Woo. So anyways, uh, yeah, so talk about my love don't cost nothing, bitch. <laughs> no. No, my love's got to cost you everything, bitch. My love is definitely not for free. Hell no, it ain't free, nigga. <laughs> I might pretend and play games with you because I'm bored just for the sheer fact that I'm bored. I might tell you, like, you're the one, you know, like, I might kiss you and, like, you know, scratch your back and shit like that. Make your eyeballs roll on the back of your fucking head. And when I kiss you and I, I pull you in really passionately, you feel like, holy shit. I'm fuck, I would die right now. I'm in heaven. And like, yeah. And then after that, I'm like, I'm fucking bored of you. You're so fucking worthless. You are a fucking boring piece of shit. The day your mother had you as a fucking joke. The heavens laughed the minute you were born, nigga. <laughs> You were born as a fucking joke, nigga. Your life is a joke. You were born for the sake of entertaining me, the goddess of all creation. I just wanted to see some fucking funny ass shit come to the earth so I could be entertained. And then yo ass was fucking born. And I was like, oh, look at this fucked up nigga. <laughs> he ain't got no hope, no future, nothing, bro. Like, I'm just gonna laugh at him until he dies. So anyways, uh, <laughs> that's all I want to come up here and say. Aren't y'all supposed to be watching Super Bowl or some fucking shit? Like fucking low IQ niggas. <laughs> low IQ niggas be watching Super Bowl like, I don't have time for that shit. I don't have time for loud ass motherfuckers. Loud ass drunk motherfuckers. Like so not classy. Like listen, uh, to be honest, I like a man that's actually, because I had so many niggas come to me and like trying to talk to me and shit. But first of all, you fucked up the minute you try to talk. Because if you actually know me, you would know I I do not like men that talk a lot. Men that talk a lot are like a fucking pussies, you know? Like, when you just sit there and talk and talk, like, that's a girl's job. Like, I like men that are quiet, like, quiet-ass niggas that are just, like, super intense. He's just kind of in the background with all his ratchet, drunk friends trying to holler at me. And they're like, eh. But I'm like, but who's your homeboy back there, you know? The one that's not talking. The one that's sitting all the way by himself all the way over there. Like, that's the one. That's usually the guys I like. But, you know, unfortunately, they're, they're so quiet and uh, shy. Not really shy, but they're not, like, rambunctious, you know, like me. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I don't I don't like guys that like talk too much. Like it's not it's kind of a turn off, cause I'm just like it's such a feminine quality, and he's giving too much of himself away. So I'm just like uh huh. I return to be interested, but I'm like Ugh. anyways, I gotta go, boo. Uh, I, so it's good to know you. What was your name again? I don't even know their fucking names. I just pretend like oh hey, I just call them like oh hey or baby because I, I don't fucking remember their names nor do I care about asking so I just be like oh hey you know like 10 years later I'm like hey <laughs> hey boo like hey babe because I don't fucking remember your fucking name and I don't fucking care you that broke ass nigga <laughs> you that broke ass nigga aren't you <laughs> So, to be totally lo look, bro, I don't care what you say. Jesus fucking loves me, bro. Like, I drive this man crazy. He's like, I died for you already. Like, isn't that good enough? I'm like, yeah, but but you're alive again. So you you lied to me. <laughs> to be totally locked up by you. What a man gotta do. What a man gotta do. I'm telling you what you gotta fucking do. Okay, but then then again, when there's rich guys, I don't like the rich guys either because they think I'm just very complicated, guys. I, I'm not complicated, but at the same time, I'm kind of a little bit complicated because I'm like, <laughs> okay, 
to be honest, okay, let's be honest on a whole other level since we're being honest here. I don't want any guys. I just want to have a bunch of dudes I could just play around with like a Ken doll. And then I just, when I'm done playing with you, I just want to throw you in the trash can and never think about you again. Like, honestly, I just don't fucking care. I just call my father guy. I'm like, daddy, uh, can you send me another Ken doll? The last one died. Like the last 15 of them completely died. Can you please send me another one that like works, uh, long term this time before I get bored of him and toss him in the fucking trash can and make sure when I toss him in the trash can he doesn't try to crawl out of the trash can try to come back into my life dad because if I threw him in the trash it's for a fucking reason so I don't appreciate it when my Ken dolls try to come back to life and come back into my life did I toss him in the trash can daddy okay bye daddy don't send me another fucking loser okay in Jesus' name, bye. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's how Father God and I be talking. He's like, girl, he's like, this girl. And I'm like, what? What you mean, this girl? You made me this way, dad. <laughs> so, anyways. Yeah, so uh, I just wait for Father God. He's making me another Prince Charming anyways, by the way, because he knows how I am. He knows I get very bored very quickly, and, you know, he has to make it interesting for me. So he has to send all these different types of people and, you know, whatever. And uh, here I am. So if you want my love, which is, by the way, <laughs> out of this world. <laughs> Not that any of y'all will experience it because y'all a bunch of broke losers. <laughs> so, yes, amen. Uh, <laughs> so, um, but for a short time, if you could buy, if you have, a, if you can afford to like buy like 24 hours, maybe in your case, one hour is really all you need. One hour with me is like, oh, you will never be the same again. But it's kind of like a curse also because. Anyone who's ever been with me, after you leave me and you go be with someone else, it's like I just fucked up your whole life because you can't, you won't be able to stop thinking about me when you're with your next bitch, you know, and she's like some basic ass bitch. And you're like, damn, why can't you be Tila? Like, you know, you're waiting for her to say something, you know, silly or funny or, you know, cunning like me. And she's just some dumb bitch, you know, and you're just like, oh, fuck, I can't stop thinking about Tila. <laughs> I had this friend one time. I fucked up his life, bro. He had this girlfriend. I was like, nigga, don't you got a girlfriend now? What the fuck are you talking to me for? And he's like, I was at the movies with her, and uh, she was holding my hand. And then, <laughs> this nigga tripping. I was like, what the fuck did you do that poor girl? And he's like, I looked at her, and I said, you're not Tila. <laughs> ah, nigga, you're tripping, bro. You fucked up. Oh, why you gotta do that to that little girl? Like, you done fucked her up. Like, no, he done broke her heart. And she probably hates me, you know. <laughs> I didn't do nothing to him. Like, that's his problem, bro. <laughs> so, hold on. Um. So, yeah, it was so funny because he was like, he just looked at her in the eyes and was like, you're not Tila. And then they, they broke up. <laughs> I'm like, you think you're so fucking funny. Like, why you gotta say that? He, he's like, it's true. And like, every girl I hang out with, I, I can't stop thinking about you, you know? Like, nigga, well, you need to stop thinking about me because you can't go around dating girls and telling them that they're not me, you know? <laughs> but you funny. You funny. It's too bad you're broke because if you weren't broke, we could be together. <laughs> Ooh, anyways, uh, yeah, these people just hate all the time, but, uh, yeah, it's funny, uh, I ha I've had rich niggas too, but I just, like, took them for everything they had, and then I got really fucking bored after that as well, and I'm like, damn, y'all niggas are boring, like, now I know why God created man, God created man for my, just for me to have fun, like, just for, for me to have something to do and kill and destroy and, you know, raise back up and, to love on and then just fucking do it all over again because uh, guys I the, I don't really see other reasons for y'all like you guys are good for sperm donation when I want children uh, obviously I don't need y'all around because I <laughs> I don't need you around I don't want you around and uh, so sperm donation yes good um, foot massage back rubs yeah put together my furniture yes yes that's all good uh, give me your money. Yes, that's good. Um, sex, mm, whatever. It's just whatever. 
Uh, but yeah, other than that, I don't see anything, any other reason for, for men to, you know, really have any other purpose in life other than to be my sperm donor, to be my male servants, to be my slaves and, you know, to worship me. And, uh, I mean, I don't know what other people do with men, but that's what I do with men. <laughs> oh, that's why these bitches hate me because they, they try to work so hard to get their husbands to notice them. And here I come along this whore who doesn't even like, you know, these men. And they're like, goddess, please, I will do anything just to get one night with you. <laughs> So fucking dumb. You can't get one night with me because after you done been with me, you're gonna go back to your wife or whoever, and you're gonna be thinking about me all the time. It's just gonna be stuck on you. Like it, it's just never going to leave you. It sucks. So I thought, well, let me be nice then and, and just like just save them the heartache and just not be with them anymore, you know. So here I am in my in my abode. Oh, oh by my do want to be all by myself anymore. <laughs> Clearly, I'm done just fine by myself. Um, so anyways, I got to go, but I just want to come on here and say that real quick. And it's funny because it's so weird to me. Like, obviously, the Lord is with me because I started testing things out. Like, just do whatever the fuck I want to do. And these niggas still be hanging around. Like, wow. <laughs> very impressed because it takes a it takes quite a man to uh you know handle someone like me bro <laughs> obviously uh, i'm a very special um category <laughs> on my own <clears throat> perhaps only jesus only jesus can handle me so you know he has to go come come by like different di different men to role play with me because i get very bored in our marriage i'm like bro if you don't fucking change and turn into like a hundred different guys just for me like i'm fucking bored of you i want a divorce like right now <laughs> he's like hold on let me, let me work that out for you then he'll go and pretend and like be this guy or be that guy and be this guy and be that guy just to keep me like, <laughs> just to keep me happy. So, uh, you know, uh, that's, <laughs> I'm so sorry guys. It's all true too, by the way. It's, it's all true. Anyways, uh, so I gotta get going. So all you, all you women out there giving your love away for free, you doing it all wrong, sweetie. You, you better work these men. Like they, they need someone to work them. You know, you being too nice. Like they don't like these nice bitches. They, they lie and be like, I want a nice girl. They are lying. They want a dirty whore like me. Trust me. Just trust me. They want a dirty whore like me who, who they want to make their own. They want to have their own personal dirty little whore. All for themselves you know like just for themselves uh, <laughs> so who happens to cook and who happens to be a great mother also on top of that so yeah i have all these qualities that you know it's like perfect it's like god made a perfect bride like this perfect woman uh, if you could spot like the perfect woman it's something that god created like this is what god in his eyes he says is perfect so Anyways, that's all I gotta say. So if y'all if y'all some broke niggas, listen, I, I give you purpose in life because I make you a better man because now you, you have to work harder to go get more things. Like you have to figure out a way to make make more money, to be more successful, to become stronger. So I, I'm pushing you to be the best version of yourself. Otherwise, you can't have shit, nigga. You can't have shit. Don't even fucking talk to me. So it, it pushes you, it forces you to get out there and try to be creative, try to work very hard to, you know, reach that goal where you can, like, open your own business. Because that's not impossible for you to do, nigga. It's not hard to do. You just have to have the drive to want to do that. You got to have the drive to do that. But so you see a woman like me comes along, I will push you to the point where you, you're going to be the best man possible. And then at the end, when it's over with, when you reach that level, you're going to feel so fucking good about yourself. You're going to be like, bro, my fucking wife, like she fucking beat my ass when I met her. I was worthless, but she made me into someone worthy. She brought me up from nothing and she pushed me harder and she made me be the best version of myself. Now I'm a fucking billionaire. I have the baddest bitch at my side. 
praising me. Like, now I feel good, nigga. I'm a man. I'm the king. See, that's how I make dudes feel. I make them feel like a fucking king when they're nothing. So I raise them up from the fucking dead and give them purpose in life. And a lot of these other women, they don't, you know, they don't really do that. They're just like, they be all needy all the time, you know, uh, but I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> so, anyways, keep hating you fucking whores. Bye, guys. <laughs>